Hello and welcome to this chess video. I'm Fiete Master Ingvari Johansson from Iceland and I'm going to show you a computer game. As of right now, uh, the TCEC Super Final is being played, uh, the top chess engine championship. Uh, Stockfish has been the champion now for a while, but uh, it's down one game now against Lila Chess Zero or LC Zero. And that's a very interesting development. Uh, Lila, for those who don't know, is based on the same ideology or principles that uh, the famous Alpha Zero uh, artificial intelligence system. Um, it's more like a crowd, uh, sort of a crowdsource idea. Yeah, people can donate, like uh, computing power and, and such, and test the uh, test the different uh, releases of of the program. But yeah, based on these neural networks, and uh, it must be said uh, that it's coming along very nicely. Seems like it's not as strong as Alpha Zero yet, but uh, it's progressing in, in the right direction seems to have some tactical weaknesses but at least based on this game its positional chess is getting uh, very impressive and this game uh, very much resembles uh, the games that we've seen by alpha zero sort of long-term um, positional sacrifices giving up pawns a lot of similarities and we'll just dive into the game uh, lila had the white pieces stockfish black this is game 63 we had the French defense, knight c3 classical, knight f6, bishop to g5 and bishop to b4, the McCutcheon variation, seemingly uh, allowing e5, which would win a piece. The knight is pinned, but h6 breaks the pin. Uh, the bishop retreats back to e3. A more modern treatment of this line, bishop d2 used to be the main move, I believe, and after knight e4. Queen g4, uh, a very aggressive system by by white. Uh, stock is played king to f8. A natural question is, can we take here? Uh, because if you take, then check and I win the rook. But if you take on c3, I will play a3. So not all, allowing you to capture a rook, of course. And white will win the piece back with a good position. For instance, bishop f8 and just take on c3. Um, so king f8 is preferred here uh, but now uh, Lila does actually sacrifice a pawn bishop uh, takes on c3 and knight takes so white has gotten the bishop here which is always useful especially the black squared bishop which doesn't have a counterpart and in many cases weaknesses will appear on the black squares and they certainly did in this game bishop to d3 and yeah, as compensation, Black has uh, compromised his uh, king position, hasn't castled, uh, and will have some problems connecting the rooks. Uh, the king has to protect the pawn on g7 because of the queen on g4. And the knight on c3 doesn't have a lot of squares, and a4 doesn't seem like a very useful square. Okay, b6 was played. Very often this is played to uh, exchange of the light squared bishops, the classical bad piece in the French, but in this game, um, Stockfish didn't go for that, it played knight to c6. Here we have the first new move of the game. Previously knight to h3 had been played, presumably with the idea to put it on h5, but h5 was played in this game. And yeah, this seems to be uh, something that Lila and Alpha Zero uh, very, very much like these flank pawn uh, advances, cramping flank pawns. And also, they tend to sacrifice uh, the flank pawns a lot. Okay, the game goes on. Bishop d7. Trying to get some uh, resemblance of uh, of development. Knight to e2. Okay, uh, extension of the knight on c3. Although it, it wasn't a very active piece. But White figures that uh, he's ready now to, well, sort of advance on two fronts after a4. We want to go a5 and create pressure on the, on the queen side, so Stockfish decides to go a5 and now f4. And here, yeah, with the two bishops, um, white also has a lot of space advantage with the pawns, very cramping effect of the pawns. 
and we see a very natural plan of just pushing the pawns g4 and then uh, eventually preparing to play f4 to f5 which will uh, yeah make the king on f8 feel the heat knight f5 uh, white of course keeps the bishop bishop to f2 and is now ready to push g4 but the idea of knight f5 by stockfish was to take on d4 uh, yeah, th this doesn't seem to be very effective for black. Um, maybe you should try to organize c5, but still, we could play a move like this and then push the knight back, come back, and it seems like eventually, with something like c3, uh, white will keep full control of the queen side. Bishop takes d4, for instance, and now we're ready to push f5. Black can play knight c6, but we just go back, and something like this seems to be just full control for white, even though he's down a pawn. Okay, pressure here. But most importantly, yeah, the king is stuck, no connection uh, between the black heavy pieces, and f5 will appear sooner or later. So Stockfish took drastic actions here with knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, and c5. And now we see the idea c4 will win the piece back. But white keeps the black squared bishop, bishop to f2, c4 now. And now uh, a very nice move. It would seem that white could and should maybe take on c4 when he will uh, regain his pawn and probably has an okay position. But black is very close to, to equalizing now and all of a sudden this bishop would come to life tremendously if you get it to this diagonal. Um, you can see that. Black will get some counterplay. And Lila played instead bishop to g6, electing to stay uh, down a pawn. Stockfish took, and h takes g6. And this pawn has a big cramping effect, especially on this king. Uh, we can't get the king out immediately because bishop h4. And Stockfish played king g8. The problem with this move is that with the king here, this rook is stuck for a while on h8 and this will give white tremendous uh, positional compensation queen e8 to attack the pawn will be met by queen h5 it's true we get the pawn on a4 but white will simply be in control here uh, we'd like to play c3 here followed by bishop to d4 and then simply g4 f5 but this would allow uh, bishop to c2 when this pawn drops so we can't do that so rook a2 and after that we're ready for uh, this which will just be horrendous for black so king g8 i'm not sure there uh, was anything better c3 now queen to f8 white protects the pawn on f4 and stockfish wants to go to the end game after all black is up a pawn but he needs to get consolidated to, uh, yeah, for that pawn to matter. But a surprising decision here by by Lila Tiasiro. He goes for the end game, down a pawn, takes on f5. And the idea is not to take on b6. Uh, instead, rook b1. If you take on b6, maybe Black will start to get active. Maybe play rook b8 or or start working with the king. Instead, rook b1, rook b8, and now the idea, which is just uh, fantastic. And it's just based on playing against black's bad pieces and making them worse. Lila played a fantastic idea here, g4. What is this? Uh, black can take? Yes, he can, but now another powerful pawn move e6 and this is just cramping black down horrendously first of all uh if we pin the pawn f5 and this is just a wedge into black's position making his king horrible and making it very hard to get cover uh, uh make the pieces uh, uh, work together cooperate bishop takes a4 was paid in the game but of course we have to look at bishop takes e6 what's happening here Rook h5, fantastic maneuver. The rook is coming over to e5. 
and turns out this is very hard to deal with. For instance, rook to e8, rook e5. We want to take on b6, and the problems are real here. If we uh, go for this trade, rook takes b6, protecting the pawn, and the back rank is just too weak. And a move like h5, trying to activate the rook, is met with rook to b8, bishop c5 check, just to illustrate how, how weak the back rank is. So this was rook to e8. Um, we try to bring the king, bishop to d4, clamping down on this pawn. And it, it's hard to find a move here. Let's try something, rook b7, just a waiting move, rook e5. You can't even play king uh, to here because f5 and we have a pin, winning the piece. And if the bishop moves, then we will just go for the trade. And yeah, again, the back rank, just a quick variation, g3, bishop c5, check, and takes, and when the bishop moves, there's mate. And just a fantastic idea with uh, g4 and e6. So Stockfish took on a4, and king d2, bishop b8, and now f5, and just look at these pawns. The domination is real, rook a1 a4, rook h to b1, rook c8, and bishop h4. And note that this king is just not getting out. We can stay with the bishop here, and you'll note that the king it just can't reach any of these squares, so it's just not getting out. Simple as that. Uh, g3. Mustakvist tries to give up some pawns to, to activate its, uh, its pieces. Lila takes on g3, king comes to f8, and bishop d6. We could have played bishop h4, kept the uh, kept the uh, cage sort of, uh, but I guess Lila saw another way here. Put the bishop on this diagonal and open the f-file. And that's what happened, rook d8, bishop to b4. And just look at how tremendous this bishop is. Could have been here, but I went over to this diagonal instead. And meanwhile, this guy is just locked and hemmed in by its own pawns and the white pawns. Uh, Stockfish tried to activate a little bit, give up another pawn, bishop to d5. Now white is only down one pawn. And yeah, if we go back to when we played e6, if black had taken, black would have been up three pawns, but completely losing. Just fantastic. F6, uh, bishop takes e6. If you take, uh, excuse me, if you take on f6, rook takes, and the other rook is simply coming to f1, and we're going to give mate on f8. So you have to give up the bishop on e6. So bishop takes e6 was played. F7, Czechoslovakia, king d7, and now a little bit of trolling by Lila. Uh, she promoted to a rook. Of course, it doesn't matter. Probably the best move is to take uh, on f8 anyway. But yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, perhaps if you promote to a queen, black takes the queen and technically you're losing more material, so why not promote to a rook? I don't know, there must be some, some explanation, but I think trolling would be uh, the ideal uh, explanation. But anyway, I mean, this is just completely losing for for black, next move is rook takes h8, and the other rook comes to f8, and white would simply be up uh, a rook here, and black can't move the pawns or make them work, even though there are, uh, at the moment, uh, three extra pawns. So after king c6, um, I guess, uh, yeah, stockfish reach its uh, threshold, resignation threshold, and resign the game, so a very nice win by by Lila, and yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, at this moment leading by one point, but still uh, about 30 games left to be played, so it will be interesting to see what happens. In any case, um, uh, I will see you in another chess video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.